This is the largest tidal wave in the entire world, and I'm going to explain to you how the shape of a coastline can generate huge swell from tidal movement. This wave is called the Silver Dragon, and it is right next to Shanghai. It's the shape of the bay that increasingly amplifies the tidal wave. The farther it travels into the inlet, the more it is focused. It's very similar to how a bellow amplifies airspeed out of its tapered nozzle. Now, all coastlines have tidal waves. It's just hard to distinguish them from other swells. They are the smallest near the equator and the largest near the poles because they are directly related to the amplitude of the tidal change. So even though this bay isn't at the highest latitude compared to other bays, it still has the biggest tidal wave due to its perfectly funneling shape. So how did this bay form in this expanding way? The answer is in fluid dynamics. This is a feature called an expansion bar. When a water current is confined by its terrain and then released, it will expand outwardly, thus making an expansion bar. At this river bend, the current was compressed against the left bank due to centripetal force. After the turn, it made this perfect expansion bar. So what happened here was the water was concentrated up in the mountains, and when it came down, it expanded, just like in this example. And it's got a nice consistent meander to it to really exemplify that it was made by a large river. Now, this is a 98 kilometer wide bay. This means there was an outward force on both banks even at this huge distance. The shape of this inlet was eroded backwards as the water level and current decreased. Just like how cataracts and any ravine on a cliff edge gets eroded backwards over time. Now the second best expansion bar in the entire world is also in China. And it has a sand bank that completes a perfect expansion bar shape. It happens right after a turn more similar to this example. This sand berm edge was deposited by a current and also shaped by a current. You can see large ripples in this formation, and there are smaller ripples towards the inside edge. This is not a coincidence. It's due to the lesser current now being confined to lower terrain. 